This is Cooking with Pop, and <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of background uh, on tomatoes and Italian cooking. Now, the real essence and the basics of a lot of Italian dishes is a good tomato sauce. Now, we're going to have a little challenge for you. Do you call it tomato sauce or do you call it a gravy? Now, I guess it depends on what parts of Italy your origin is from. But uh, my roots are from calling it a tomato sauce. So we're going to create today a good, simple, basic uh, tomato sauce. Now, I say simple and basic. You find all kinds of tomato sauce or gravy recipes. Uh, spaghetti sauce, it's called. Uh, they all contain things that I would never dream of putting in a tomato sauce. Uh, tomato sauce is usually a very, very plain, tomatoey uh, uh, texture, okay? So, um, you know, when I hear people putting uh, uh, wine in or putting oregano in or um, there's just three basic ingredients in a good tomato sauce and this is brought down from my family many years ago. Now. Uh, of course, the labels have changed and the, and, the, and the manufacturers have changed, but the basic ingredient is going to be, let's see if I can get a good picture of that for you, is, uh, we're going to go dark that way, is a good basic tomato sauce. Now, we use crushed tomatoes. Uh, a lot of people like using whole tomatoes and sitting there and and grinding it down yourself, okay? But it, your end result is you end up with crushed tomato, so why not start that way? So the main ingredient, of course, is a good uh, quality tomato, uh, tomato, and these are crushed tomatoes, okay? Uh, towards the end of the summer, we'll be making plenty with fresh tomatoes, and, and, and things go a little different then. It takes a lot more uh, uh, rendering down because of the water content but that's a whole different story for a different day right now we're going to deal with just straight tomatoes uh, a canned tomato sauce and we're going to go through the process so you can start off with a good basic uh, tomato uh, no Italian cooking is great without some let's see if we can get a good picture of it garlic we're going to cut that uh, and dice that garlic up and the other main ingredient is going to be uh, fresh basil. In this case, because it is still early in the summer, I have frozen basil from last year. Uh, still does a great job. So <clears throat> we're going to put all that together. Nothing mystical. Um, uh, we're going to, yeah, of course, we need some other few ingredients like olive oil and uh, some sugar and some salt. And, uh, and we're good to go. It's that basic of a tomato sauce. So uh, let's get to grinding and chopping and frying and, uh, and we'll get this show on the road. Okay, so one of the first things we want to get going here is breaking up our, our, our gar garlic. Now, this uh, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm going to peel it, take it apart. And start peeling the garlic and uh, and then we'll chop it all up we'll get as much of the uh, of the skin off as possible it's that simple and we'll just start putting that on the side go through and break it up ah, I love the smell of fresh garlic nothing better uh, we've also planted this year some nice fresh garlic out in the garden, so we'll see how that comes, but uh, uh, I've never had a bad garlic, so... <laughs> so. Okay, now that we have the garlic all peeled, I'm going to get rid of this annoying little end on all of them, and... Uh, and we can start chopping. Okay, 
Okay, so at this point we have a nice suitable sized uh, pot uh, to do the cooking in. Uh, you can see we got the, uh, the heat up a little bit. Uh, it's almost on high, but uh, only because I want to get a good uh, on the e e EVO, extra virgin olive oil. We're just going to coat the bottom of the pan. It should be enough. And once that gets going, we'll add the garlic. Okay, now that the oil is good and hot, uh, we're going to add the uh, garlic. Now essential to any good tomato sauce is a good wooden spoon. The uh, wooden spoon was the uh, center of uh, Italian life because you could not only make a good sauce with it, but you discipline the children with it. And uh, it was very effective. I guess it worked on me. Uh, it goes back to the biblical saying, spare the rod and spoil the child. So. That's as close to a rod as you can get these days. Anyway, the other important thing as we were chopping uh, that you want to do is uh, chop the garlic as evenly as possible because what you, and you can actually see it happening now. I don't know if I can get a good enough close enough for it to it. But the uh, edges are starting to brown and the, uh, and the centers are still white. So, uh, this is always the fun part because you want to get it as dark as you can without burning it. So intuition has to tell you when to, that's enough, it's cooked enough. And we're almost there I believe. Uh, you got a nice brown flavor to, uh, look to it. Smell of the garlic aroma is just awesome. Okay, so at that point, I'm going to call it cooked and we can start adding our tomatoes. going to leave that on medium until it comes up to a little rolling boil or maybe just a little bit higher. Uh, we don't want the sauce to scorch. That's the biggest no-no there is. Now we're going to do what I call washing of the cans. So just hang on. I go ahead and fill the can with the, uh, well not fill it, about halfway up with water. Okay, go through that one. Pour that into the next one. Swish that around. Get all the goodness off the sides. Pour that into the next can, etc., etc. Okay, next on the list here, just want to remove the stems from the basil. Uh, don't need the stems in there. Now as you can see we are starting to get uh, a little boil going which is just great. So we're going to keep that stirred a little bit. And in there I'm going to add my chopped basil. Okay, only things left is some salt. We're going to add about a teaspoon or two of salt and, and maybe four teaspoons of sugar.
this removes some of the acidity from the uh, tomatoes. That's it. Tomato sauce does not require anything more than that. It's going to blend that in. Ah, I wish you could smell this. What we'll do now is just leave this to simmer for uh, an hour or two, or when I feel like it, and then we'll jar it up. Okay, so as you can see, we got it to a nice slow roll rolling boil, and it's just going to sit there and simmer like that for a couple hours. And uh, you see the smoke coming off. And should be absolutely delicious. Okay, friends, our sauce is done. It's been simmered for a couple of hours now. Uh, grab a spoon. Nectar of the gods, I'm telling you. Absolutely delicious. I can drink this by the glass full. Uh, it's just absolutely uh, delicious uh, light uh, tornado flavored sauce no other garbage as you saw going in there uh, lousing up the, the, the great tomato taste now what I do is I put it in maize while it's still hot I put it in mason jars and the lids will compress them shut as they cool down and, uh, and I can store them in the refrigerator and then I get to use them as I need them and it's always available in the refrigerator in an hour or two you'll hear that go snap and uh, that'll be done so uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, throw this batch of tomato sauce together. It's absolutely delicious. I'm going to enjoy every ounce of it. And uh, I'll probably be doing a few more videos drawing on this sauce as the main character. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and uh, come back and we'll have some more videos for you. This is Cooking with Pop. Be safe out there. Bye now.